Welcome to our Angular Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a tricky question that many developers encounter when implementing navigation guards. Our viewer is curious about how to make Candy Activate work correctly with the use of location.back. So let's break it down. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the Can Deactivate Guard in Angular. This guard is used to prevent users from navigating away from a component if certain conditions are not met. In your implementation, the can deactivate guard always returns false, which means navigation should be blocked. This is done by calling the can deactivate method in your new record component. Now, let's discuss the behavior of the location.back method. When you call this method, it attempts to navigate back in the browser's history. However, if the previous location was managed by Angular's router, the navigation is blocked due to the can deactivate guard. The issue arises when you repeatedly call location.back. Even though the guard prevents navigation, if you reach the end of the application's history, it will eventually navigate outside the application. To resolve this, consider implementing additional logic in your can deactivate guard to handle the back navigation scenario more gracefully, ensuring users remain within the application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A user shares a workaround for the can deactivate issue in Angular when using location.back. They mention it's a known problem that hasn't been fixed yet. The suggested implementation involves creating a can deactivate guard that checks if the component can deactivate. If not, it retrieves the current route and updates the URL. Here's a code snippet showing how to implement this. It uses the router to create a URL tree and the location service to update the URL. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.